Yo, what's up, my brother? What's up, my sister? This is your boy, Oscar Tege, again with yet another amazing tutorial. You guys have been asking me this question so many times. I've got very many requests in my Instagram chat, WhatsApp, Facebook. You guys have been asking me how the hell can I get melanated skin in Photoshop? This tutorial is going to give you a guide on how to get melanated skin tones in photoshop there are going to be three easy steps we are going to use selective color we are going to use gradient maps and levels those are the three things we are going to do to get melanated skin and using these same techniques you can get any other kind of skin tones you would really want to get in photoshop without further ado let's dive into this this tutorial is going to be a bit slow because as you know i love doing tutorials where everybody understands everything that i have to say because i tend to show you the whys and the what within that same tutorial so that you understand why we apply certain effects my goal is not to just show you effects and steps but my goal is to help you understand the whys and the what's of what exactly is involved into making these particular effects in a photo hope i'm making sense okay let's dive into this uh, we are going to work on this lady her name is janet a very very beautiful girl and uh we are going to turn her skin into a melanin kind of skin. That skin you look at and say, wow, she's really melanated. This particular color theme is much more of a glamour. So we are going to turn it towards that melanated kind of skin. So let's dive into it. So what we are going to do, we are going to duplicate this background layer just like this. And so that we keep uh, a safe layer right down here. So we are going to name this color right there. Then the next thing we are going to do after naming that color, we're going to come here and then we say gradient map. So gradient maps. Now gradient maps are divided into have uh, basically two sides. They have uh, this side which is meant to be the shadow side and this side which is meant to be the highlight side. The reason as to why they look a bit inverted is because the, the, is because uh, the kind of gradient we selected here. But if we turned it to this particular gradient, it shows how gradient maps are meant to be. This side is for the shadows and this side is for the highlights. So what you do, you come here on the shadow side, just double click at that point. So what we are going to do, we are going to come here. Let's remove this and uh, get this cyan kind of color and then just pick like a dark kind of tone because we want our shadows to have that bit of uh, cyan that kind of uh, bluish kind of feel then you come to the highlight side just double click at that and then you come here to click at the web the reason as why i'm clicking at the web i don't want you guys to fidget a lot with choosing which highlight color ready to go i usually love my highlights to be a little bit warm so what i do i just come and pull it a little up here and then so that this becomes a bit uh, orangish i don't know what color this is but it is in between orange and pink so i do it that way like a creamy creamy kind of look for the highlights and then i say okay you could actually just write the color code you'll have it perfectly there then you say okay for the highlights and then we come here and say okay so the next thing we're going to do here we're going to come here and say color the reason as to why we are using color uh is because color ge generates does it makes helps us not to lose out on the contrast of the image so what we are going to do we are just going to come here and reduce opacity just a little bit just like that you i don't want to take it overboard you know but this is to give us that particular feel of uh you know desaturating the colors a bit and giving it some bit of mood then the next thing we are going to do we are going to go on to selective color right here and you say selective color so you make sure it is red that is selected since we are working on skin tones most of the skin tones are usually in the red channel right here you come on color and select the red channel 
So, cyan. Okay, let, let me. We are going to first do this before I come here. I'm going to help you first understand this this particular thing. Now, let's look at uh, this this particular thing before we go there. Now, uh, uh, if I want you to just slight education on this particular thing in order for you to understand the other graph we are going in. Now, when you look at cyan, the opposite color of cyan is red. Magenta, the opposite color of magenta is green. The opposite color of yellow is blue. So in an image, if you want to reduce the amount of red in an image, you definitely have to add in more cyan. And if the image looks um, a lot, uh, it has a lot of cyan, you have to add in more reds if you want to balance it. So happens if you want to reduce on the greens, you have to add in more magenta. You know, this is like uh, understanding the color wheel of light. You know, it is not like the typical color wheel we know of art, but the typical, this is the color wheel of light. So let us do this and we see that we are going to close this. Hope you guys have understood this. Now let's go back here to selective color. Now, we said the opposite color of red is definitely cyan. It's the opposite color of cyan is red. So there is red. The fact that it is not written there doesn't mean it's there. So if you want to increase red, we shall have to move it, you know, towards this side into the minus. Yeah. If you want to reduce the red, we shall have to move it towards the cyan side. So the goal here is to reduce the red. So we are going to harm and move it slightly like like towards uh, plus five then magenta definite we have to reduce on the magenta because magenta is also similar somehow similar to red so we shall kill the magenta just a little bit the other thing we are going to do we are going to also reduce the yellow remember we said the color that is opposite yellow is blue blue is the one that is here so you come and reduce the yellow a bit the goal is to crush most of the oranges if you want to get that melanated kind of skin so that is what we are doing for the blacks i usually leave that intact so the next thing we are going to do we are now going to go into what they call the neutrals these are the neutrals and the neutrals of course these are neutral colors it is us killing trying to kill like uh the grays and you know the most of uh all these are neutrals so we want to crush them just a little bit and maybe I only touch the black part for reasons of contrast. So I'll just come and pull it towards the front just to add in a bit of contrast again so that it pops. Yeah. Then the next thing we are going to do here after selective color, we're going to go on levels. Guys, this is where most of you get it wrong. Levels. Now. Levels, you come here and look for levels. Guys, be you should actually be extra, extra attentive in this particular section because this is where most of you people get it wrong. For levels, you have to come and pull it up just there. So just only look at the shadow areas. That is where I want you guys to look, just right there right there see see how they are darkening that is exactly what we want for this particular image so see how the shadows are darkening now we are going to do the same thing also for the highlights let us name these shadows and uh, we are just going to duplicate this and name this upper layer highlights highlights so we are going to first work on the shadows so how do we do this so we want this effect to apply to only and only the shadows so how do we do that we don't want this darkness to be in the highlight area we only want it to be in the shadow areas so you just come and duplicate this rather double click on it and then you come here what what is called blend if uh, I'm trying you know the screen is very small and 
it i'm working on a laptop screen so i'm looking for where i can fix this window so what you do you just come here and pull this forward you make sure all that color goes away from the highlight see how it is going away from the highlight we don't want to remove to take it overboard but we are going to keep it around there because we have our nose let us do it in such a way that we have which bring back the highlights that on the cheekbones i think that is perfect when you look at this particular thing it it is really really rough we want this thing to be gradual so what do you do about that you press your alt key on your keyboard and then you just drag this part and divide it up and it will just blend in just like that see how beautiful it has become and so we are going to adjust it in such a way that we don't see these kinds of uh i don't know how to call them this this kind of rough rough edges so we're just going to keep on adjusting it until we see it really get smooth i think we shall keep it there right now and say okay so the next thing we are going to do we are going to work on the highlights so we're going to make it visible again by clicking there so what do we do this time this time we're going to double click just like that and then you come this side and then uh, you still drive first drive it forward you make sure they these particular effect is away from all those particular shadows and you come and bring it you make sure it is only and only affecting the highlight areas just like that so you make it like that so the next thing we do you press the, the alt key and then you click at this side and drag this part at the front and you blend it in just like that you make sure it blends in perfect just like that so i'm just going to adjust it in such a way that i don't get that kind of thing but i want it to blend in with the highlights we had created before right there and then you say okay so we're going to put this in a group and so that we see how how far we've gone look at the before look at the after before and after before and after so uh, i feel it is a little bit still too orange so what do we do about that so we come here at gradient map here and i just increase the opacity just a little bit just like that so that it darkens even more so the next thing i'm going to do is uh we've darkened it to our level so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to get these two these two layers the one of highlights and shadows right like that and put them in one single group just like that and then i'm going to create a layer mask let me just name these uh, levels so i'm just going to create a layer mask just right next to these just like that you know why i'm doing this when you look at her hair her hair really darkened and uh, we don't want the hair to be also black we only want to affect the skin so that is why i'm creating this layer mask so i press ctrl i with the layer mask selected and then get my brush and then paint over with white you make sure it's white on top and then we paint over with white just like that so that we only and only affect the skin because remember even if you're working on a on an image that where the background is uh is a different color you don't want the whole image to be affected you only want to affect the skin of a particular individual so that is how you do you get a melanated kind of skin basically and there we go so let us look at our before and after before after before and after before and after guys 
that is how you get a melanated skin if you also want you can also create a layer mask here and they maybe just rub off the eyes really this, this depends on you it's a question of test you can leave it as it is you can but at least you know the steps of how you can create a melanated skin guys that's that for today i hope to see you in my next tutorial if you still want to learn more from me guys subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and remember to leave comments below and tell me what you think and adios